All right, guys, and welcome back to Fallout 4. This is Mod Showcase Episode 25, and in this episode, I will be showcasing the Double Action 44 Magnum Revolver. This mod will add two Double Action 44 Magnums to Fallout 4. One will be based off the vanilla Fallout 4 damage model, and one will be overpowered. The location of these weapons is the player home kitchen counter in Sanctuary. So, guys, I will show you the location where you can expect to find these weapons. Okay guys, so the first place that you'll come to once you've started playing Fallout 4 will be Sanctuary Hills. And this is the player home. It's a bit strange that they will add these uh, 44 Magnums to this area of the game. Due to the simple fact that in the early base game it's quite difficult to find 44 Magnum rounds. But you do get two of them. The snub-nosed Fatebringer pistol and the snub-nosed Harry Callahan pistol. As you can see, the snub-nosed Fatebringer pistol is the overpowered 44 Magnum. I have all of the uh, pistol perk requirements for increasing damage, therefore mine has an 809 ballistic damage and 34 energy damage. That's incredibly high, so if you want to kill enemies quickly and easily, this is the one for you. However, if you want the more realistic playthrough, you will want the Hari Callahan pistol which has a damage of 115 once all perks have been taken. Both of these of course have not been modified, so I'll go and show off the modifications available for these weapons. Ok guys, before I modify this weapon, I will show you the main difference between this weapon and the standard vanilla Fallout 4 44 Magnum. You are able to shoot all the rounds in the weapon without having to cock the hammer. Also, the fire rate is greatly increased, but let's see what mods are available. Okay, so I'm in the receivers section, and as you can see, basically all the standard receivers from the vanilla Fallout 4. Of course, these uh, 45 to 70 receivers are added by a separate mod, but it's all the standard receivers from Fallout 4. You also have the standard barrels. Snob Nose, Standard and Bull. And the Standard Grips, Comfort Grip and Standard Grip. These here again are added by a separate mod. And Standard Sights again, Short Scope, Reflex Scope and a Recon Scope. Ok guys, now that I've showcased the mods available, I will go and show you how this weapon fares in combat. Ok guys, so I've come to Backstreet Apparel. It's very similar to the standard 44 Magnum. It is doing about the same amount of damage. However, if you want to use the uh, incredibly powerful uh, 809 damage 44 Magnum, that's entirely up to you. But I believe this is what the 44 Magnum should have been uh, in the vanilla Fallout 4. I didn't like the single action revolver. I was kind of hoping that they had a mod available that would have changed that uh, in the vanilla Fallout 4. However, that wasn't the case. Good, found some more boys in here. This weapon's incredibly powerful, so if you do enjoy using pistols, but you want one that has a bit more fire rate, this is definitely the pistol you want to be uh, downloading. And even if you have uh, a small file size or you don't want to be downloading too many mods, I would make sure that this is one of them because it's small, but it really does change up how you actually uh, engage in combat and as I said before this should have been an option in the vanilla Fallout 4 it's miles better than the standard 44 Magnum and it kinda in my opinion it takes me back to Modern Warfare 2 running about with 44 Magnum akimbos and just shooting like fuck right now that was shocking accuracy Oh, fuck me. Wow. Well, it, it's powerful. I would probably assume that the more powerful, more ridiculous Fate Bringer pistol would be much more powerful and much more of a formidable weapon. But frankly, I believe all you need is the vanilla damage model with a really good semi-automatic 44 Magnum revolver and you can have hours of fun. 
this, in my opinion, is the way that it should have been. Or at least you should have been able to change up from single to double action. It doesn't massively change the game. It just adds two uh, very unique 44 magnums to the game. So if you want a mod, but you don't want to be altering up level lists, this is definitely the mod for you. But guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.